Welcome to a new section. We're going way beyond the basics, and in this section, we're going to dedicate some time to a lot of things. And we're going to start off with the next few lectures talking about eval, eval, or I don't, I don't know how you even pronounce it, E V E L. Now, some of you might think it's evil. Maybe you didn't even hear about it. It's not evil. It is incredibly powerful, but it overused. And we're going to look in if you are already using it. Well, this lecture is going to be really important for you. If you don't use it already, it'll just be interesting. And over the next few lectures, we're going to talk about alternatives to eval because it's just not a good method to overuse. So we, let's jump right into it, understand why, and we're going to start off with saying how to not use that, and instead of that, using properties instead of eval. Some say eval the function is bad. Some say it's good, and I say it doesn't have an inherent value. It's really just about how you use it. So I deliberately went in our code and I put two different evals that are just absolutely bad. So in our bad section, you'll find inside of our update date that will we have your three variables: scope, prop, and a date. And notice how I'm using eval. If you don't know what eval is, eval enables you to send a string inside and literally just execute JavaScript that was a string. As if it was JavaScript. Now the problem with the eval is every time that you call it, you're stopping the normal rendering of your code and moving it to a much slower interpreter. So we really want to avoid eval in any means and cause possible. Beyond the fact that is a really huge security risk when you're using eval, because if your property could be changed by an external anything, for example, if it's a user input or anything of the sort, then that user could gain access to your server. As if they're internally from your server, where a lot of security patches are are there to try to prevent third parties from attacking your site. Whenever it's you doing it, there's a lot less security involved. So you really want to avoid the eval, both from a security perspective, but also from a performance perspective. Now, the, what we're seeing here is basically that supposedly we had a, a property that came in. Imagine it was from the server or from a user or something of that nature, and then that. Property or that th content that is sent in from the user is supposed to now trigger a property to get us that property. So what we are doing, or basically we're concatenating a local variable named scope, and concatenating into it the property that is being sent. In this case, it's this array that we already had and pre-configured earlier. By combining them together and creating an eval, we could get that property combined together and place it inside of our a dates. Which would then we could then continue using it as if it was just as if we just wrote that this dot a underscore underscore a dates. So let's see how could we do it not in this way if we got a property that came externally. It's actually incredibly easy and incredibly simple. One of the stuff here I have here this bad example of that bad use case. And in this bad use case, imagine that we still are getting this property from outside, which is the a dates. But instead of using an evolve, all we really have to do is approach that scope. Or really, in this case, we could just approach this directly, and then use a bracket and send inside that property, which is a string, any other object's property. So it, right now, we're just approaching that property, which is called that specific string, which is called this value. So that's how you create it without an evolve. It's also more secure. It also works more efficiently and faster because the browser knows how to interpret this, this way faster than it would an evolve. And that's how you avoid using evolves in general. In our next lesson, we're going to take another look at evolves and another common usage of eval, and see how could we avoid using it in that case as well.